manipulated by other young people and especially the creatives. Kushirikishwa kwa vijana katika sekta ya maji na usafi wa mazingira ni muhimu ili kuwafikia malengo ya maendeleo endelevu. Ni kupitia ushirikishwaji huu ambapo wanakuza sauti za viongozi vijana, watetezi na wataalamu katika kuhakikisha katika kuhakikisha kwamba kuna mazingira na maji safi kwa wote kama ilivyoratibiwa na ruwaza ya mwaka 2030. Bramo Albuire yuko Kisumu na anazungumza na kundi la vijana ambao wamejikita katika uhamasishaji kuhusu sheria zilizopo na pia nafasi zinazojitokeza katika sekta hiyo. Tuungane na Bramo Mubashara atujuze ni yapi anaojiri kwenye kaunti ya Kisumu. Bramu mwalimu jambo Bramu unanipata vyema tujuze yapi anajiri katika kaunti ya Kisumu katika kukuza uh, uongozi na sauti za viongozi vijana na vile vile kuhakikisha usafi wa mazingira na maji safi tuko hapa katikati mwa jiji la Kisumu leo hii tukiangazia masuala yanayofungamana na kuoana na swala zima la mazingira maji safi pamoja na ule mchakato mzima wa mabadiliko ya tabia nchi kumekuepo na kundi la vijana ambalo limekuwa katika mkutano wa siku tatu hadi siku hii ya leo wakaweza tu kutafuta mstakabali kuthamini masuala ya masuala ya sheria imekuepo imetekelezwa vipi hadi wakati huu ambapo taifa linajaribu kuhakikisha kwamba linao na, na yale malengo maendelevu ama zile SDG lengo nambari sita malo na akikisha kwamba mkenya wa kawaida kufikia mwaka af mbili thelathini atakuwa na uwezo wa kufikia maji safi na vile vile kweza kuepushwa na maji taka sasa hivi ni ruhusu ni zungumze na badi yao ambao wako hapa utatueleza jina lako kisho tueleze Mulianza naona kundi leo laitua kisumo youth wash parliament labda hili bungelenu mulianza na dhamira ipi Asante sana Bramwell. So my name is Victoria Adwet. I'm the speaker to the Kisumu Youth Wash Parliament. And the Kisumu Youth Wash Parliament is a youth group based in Kisumu. We, our mandate is anchored on the Constitution of Kenya 2010, uh, section 43, which talks about every citizen has a right to access to clean and safe water. And also if we look at SDG 6, which talks about access to clean water and not only access, but also the quality of water. So we came together as youth within Kisumu County to to talk about to bring about change in our community. The change we are trying to bring about is through one advocacy in that we are trying to reach to the communities within the Kisumu County uh, jurisdiction to see to it that is it are they getting access to this water and if not what needs to be done. Another aspect of access to clean and safe water is that uh, there is a common phrase that water does not come from the tap, it comes from the catchment. So we are also advocating for protection of catchment areas because it is at that point that the water that we use comes from. Shukran sana Victoria. Labda ni seme na huyu bwana. Anazungumzia kwamba mnahakikisha kwamba lazima lazima vile vyanzo vya maji pamoja na mkenya wa kawaida kuweza kufikia maji safi na maji bora na vile vile kuepushwa na yale mabadiliko ya tabia nchi. Kuna swala zima la sheria the policy framework kufikia sasa labda hapa Kisumu na vile vile katika eneo zima la Nyanza unahisi kwamba serikali za county zimefanya vya kutosha kuhakikisha kwamba yale masuala ya afya ya siya sheria yanaweza kufuatwa well well thank you so much my name is Joshua Siko uh, what i can say concerning the policy i can say that policy influence decision and program but as we go through the policy there is still a big gap as when you compare the policy under water, little resources have been allocated to water as compared to health. And uh, when you look at health and, and, and water, they go one on one. And more funds need to be allocated on issues to do with wash and sanitation within Kisumu County. Yes, so there is still a gap. Shukran sana bunge hilo la, la vijana hapa Kisumu. Labda nimalize kabisa na huyu mwanadada ambaye yupo hapa. Na hatutakosa kuzungumzia masuala ya maji, vyanzo vya maji bila kuzungumzia masuala mabadiliko ya tabia nchi. 
climate change hapa Kisumu tumeweza kushuhudia ziwa Victoria likiweza kupanda viwango tumeweza kushuhudia yule mto Kajulu ambao unategemewa pakubwa hapa Kisumu ukiweza kukauka labda nyinyi kama bunge nini kia msingi ambacho mnafanya kuhakikisha kwamba wakati taifa linapambana na mabadiliko ya tabia nchi vile vile nyinyi wakati ambapo muna mnawahakikisha kwamba wale wanaohusika wakuu wa masuala ya sheria wanaweza ku, 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 kupigwa msasa vile vile nyinyi kama vijana mnafanya nini kuhakikisha kwamba mnapambana na mabadiliko ya tabia nchi uh, thank you very much bramwell my name is polino amboy i'm the minister in charge of uh, climate change in kisumu youth climate change in kisumu youth wash parliament and one of our mandate as Kisumu Youth Watch Parliament is to actually report on SDG 13 which talks about climate action and also to be, to mitigate climate change. So one of the activities or several activities that we have been doing towards the mitigation of climate change is uh, we've planted trees around Kisumu. We've actually planted around three, over 3000 trees. Uh, we have also engaged communities in sensitization to be able to teach them on uh, social accountability. We have also engaged schools. Uh, we have uh, adapted several schools. So far we have reached nine schools whereby we are engaging these uh, school-going children on nature-based solutions to be able to mitigate climate change. Shukran sana. Bunge hili la wananchi. Bunge la vijana hapa Kisumu amejikita pakubwa katika kuhakikisha kwamba swala so zima mchakato wa mazingira pamoja na kuhakikisha kwamba kuna uwepo wa maji safi unaweza kuangaziwa kiundani inapendeza sana hadi ya kuweza kuona kwamba vijana wanahusika kwa hoja kwa njia moja kwa moja kuhakikisha tu kwamba taifa na ulimwengu wa hapo kesho unakuwa ni ulimwengu bora ulimwengu salama wenye maji safi pamoja na kupambana vita via mabadiliko tabia nchi. Kwa hivyo ni masuala ambayo yanaendelea katika ule mkutano ambao umewaleta vijana wengi kutoka kaunti za eneo hili la Magharibi kuweza tu kupata mstakabali. Wakiondoka hapa wanaenda kuwa mabalozi wa mabadiliko ya tabia nchi, maji safi na kupambana na mabomba ya maji taka. Kwa hivyo toka hapa Kisumu hadi ya moja kwa moja kwa kupale studio. Na sadaka bila shaka Asante sana Bramwell Bwire kwa hayo. Mtazamaji inapata fursa ya kuingia madukani. Ila nitakuwa narejea na taarifa zaidi hivi punde. Hivyo na kusihi usiende bali.